Yes, even Lauren, it could have been much, much worse. Uh, thankfully, the worst of the damage right now is that NC39 right here is still closed behind me. I do want to show you in the distance. That's where most of the damage was. You can see it's still very dark out here. These crews still working to get the power on. But again, people just thankful no lives were lost. Be safe out there. When Tracy Mitchell heard a tornado hit on her sister's street on Rocky Ford, she rushed over only to find the road was blocked. She's very scared and I just want to make sure she's okay. All she could do at that point was call. On the other end of the line, her sister Sandra. All, all worried about Everybody you. Everybody been calling, lighting the phone up. <laughs> Sandra heard the tornado and she had to take cover. Next thing you know, the wind come whistling. I mean fast. And um, stuff, debris and all stuff blowing around so I had to get to a safe place in the house and it didn't last a long time but like I said it did some damage. Luckily these sisters able to reunite but the damage was severe the yard was flooded a trampoline flew into trees and across the street trees were down and power was out then just a few hours later a second tornado this one in the nearby town of Epsom. I see on television what it could do but not in person you know and I walk up to it I said oh my god. The bulk of the damage destroying this mobile home, which thankfully was vacant, but people across the street watched in horror. Debris way up in the air and the way the rain was shifting, I thought, oh no, this is not good. Michelle Riley took cover, hearing what happened in Wilson County and worrying she was next. And I kept thinking about that poor man in Lacoma and I was thinking about my family and all I could think about was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I thought I was going to die in this house today. And tonight, a lesson about the things that can't be replaced. I'm just thankful to be in a tab store. <laughs> Yeah, I think we all want to have a sibling like Tracy ready to just drop everything and help us out when we need it. Thankfully, again, everybody is OK. Again, right now, crews working to get the power back on here in Franklin County. Franklin County officials saying everybody does need to be patient again. Also be aware of those road closures. They are urging people to stay off the roads throughout the night. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.